yes good morning students hello mohan priya am i audible yes sir you are sir good uh, all the students have been muted right yes sir they have been okay uh good morning everyone hope all are doing uh, safe during this pandemic time and pleasure to meet you all today for the class i am uh, like to apologize each and every one uh, for my technical uh, difficulties i couldn't able to join on time i joined in my mobile earlier but the laptop it has taken a lot of time i'm really sorry for that mona but i want to uh, just hear the uh, voice from the students as well because uh, at least one or two minutes after that i'll ask you to mute hello i will help you with that sir unmute all the students so that i'll just have good morning sir 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 After hearing your voice, only I'm getting the energy. Okay. So sending more energy towards you. So nice to uh, see you all. And I request all the students to record the uh, videos. The videos be on. The audio be muted. Later, not now. Once I start my session, tell you then you can mute it. Last moment, dear madam. Okay, students. So, I am going to I am going to handle your uh, subject for the plans, the operations. Okay. Are we audible? Hello, Mohan Priya. Yes, Hello. sir. I have muted everybody else. Now you are you are. So, in your FNB advanced FNB operation subject, you will be you will be having five units. So the units, I'm going to just give a short glimpse on the units. What is going to be there on your syllabus? It's more on your uh, practical oriented uh, uh, syllabus. unless like your second year beverage service as a toughest subject of our entire hotel management now this subject is the most easiest uh, subject i could uh, say in your entire third year uh, syllabus you no need to sit down and prepare for this particular subject you, if you listen the sessions carefully that's more than enough just before the day of examination if you go once just a fast plans we have go through there's more than enough for writing this examination such an easy subject so you have unit number 1 it is called as planning operating various fnb outlets this is all about a new hotel when it is getting opened when an empty space has been given by the project manager to the general manager and to the fnb manager so they will design how the restaurant should look what all criteria are required for designing a restaurant from scratch to end So what all requirements? That's your unit number one. So that is called as planning and operating various FNB outlets. So now unit number two and unit number three is pertaining to your banquets and buffets. That will be more practical oriented subject. And day to day, what we have seen in the hotel industry, we are not going to see uh, those things. Apart from that, we are going to see those things. Apart from that, we are going to discuss management oriented topics. for into the banquets so that's number unit number 2 and 3 and unit number 4 is all about garidan service garidan service is nothing but uh, a show piece a trolley will be taken and the food will be prepared in front of the guest so it's normally you will find such a type of trolley in a fine dining restaurants so that's unit number 4 and unit number 5 is uh kitchen shivering is an easy topic is the uh, kitchen shivering so that's how we are going we are going to discuss about our uh, entire unit and today what we are going to do discuss or we are going to begin with the topic is called as banquets 
Uh, I would like all the participants to answer what you know about banquets. What idea you have about banquets? You can come in the chat room and you can discuss. Or you can raise your hands, we can uh, mute you. Unmute you. Hello. Hello, students. I'm not getting any response. I have not got any answer from the chat box. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of answers. Large space given out on a rental basis. Very good. So that's a good answer from everyone. Uh, it's a function catering, place where events are held. Very good. Can can come and someone define uh, banquets? What should be the size of a banquet? How many numbers a banquet is normally given by the hotels? It's a formal meal. Very good. Students, enough about the chat. We can stop chat. Uh, what could be the numbers where the hotel can give you an entry in a banquet hall? The minimum and the maximum size. Is there any minimum size? Is there any maximum size to have a banquet? The number varies. Very good. The number varies. Minimum should be 20. And maximum can be 500. It can be 5,000. It can be 10,000. It can be any number. Fine. Okay. So before I would like to uh, proceed into the topic called as banquets on our... Uh, PPT, I'd like to share you a few informations to create an interest among the topic called as banquets. Anyone of you heard about mice? It's called as M-I-C-E. You are in the hotel industry and if you would have uh, got your exposure in the hotels during a training period, you could have heard about mice. If not about mice, yeah, excellent. It's meetings, incentives and conference. Meetings, incentives, conference, and not events, it's exhibition. Sanal has given a right answer. Very good. Someone is scribbling on the screen. I don't know why they are, why they are doing that. Okay. Meetings, incentive, conference, and exhibition. Does anyone know what is the role of mice in our country now? What into the hotel industry I'm talking about? Mice plays a major role in generating revenue to the hotel industry. I don't know how many of you are aware the total revenue which is generated in the hotel industry which has been segregated into two components. Component number one is the rooms division. Component number two is uh, food and beverage service department. So when, uh, when you talk about uh, a decade before one decade before a lot of revenues used to be generated. Almost you can say 70% of your revenues were generated only through rooms division. Now the scenario is totally different. The other way it has gone, the mice. Mice is a part of a bank. Mice is part of an event. So mice is generating huge revenues nowadays. It is crossing ahead of the rooms division business. So you could, you could see uh, in the end of the session, I'll be giving you an assignment on mice. Mice plays a major role in generating revenues to the banquet. So all of us should be aware about mice. If you are aware about mice, then we can look into the uh, banquet's topic. That's so nice, students. So many of you are chatting. Uh, just hold on for the chat for some time. Then we can discuss. Okay, here. We are going to discuss about banquets. Okay. How many of you have seen this setup? A round table with chairs. <coughs> the entire round tables are facing towards head table. Head table is well designed and it has been well equipped for the meeting. And all the round tables has been, a conference kit has been laid. Conference kit is nothing but the pen and pen, pen and paper and put it into your uh, conference it has been done. A similar way, if it is going to be at uh, dining, then the cutleries and crockeries will be laid. 
can anyone uh, can anyone tell me uh, what is the uh, this setup looks like so anyone any name for this setup excellent cluster cluster setup kullur and sudanshu very good i uh, asked yes, all of you are giving a right answer it is called as cluster it this cluster setup can be done for a Uh, any meeting a small meeting or for a larger meeting it can be said usually it will be done for a formal gathering and you could have seen in most of the movie presentations or uh, award ceremonies you could have seen uh, like the prime minister award ceremony or the president award ceremony or some memorandum of understanding getting signed between countries then these sort of setups will be done okay so this is how a formal banquet of banquet hall should look now i'll move on to the topic banquets let us just give you a definition on the banquets we can write down the definition of the banquet students banquets can be described as a large gathering of a people where arrangements are done for service of food and beverage the word banquet means it's a sumptuous meal or feast so it can be done in a different scenarios the the last line it has been written it can be a convention it can be meeting it can be conference it can be birthday parties etc it can be for any gathering for any reason it can be for a good things like a marriage you can go for a gathering you can go for a banquet like a, on a death anniversary or a death, even for the death anniversary you can go for your banquets any any gathering you can go for a banquet it's such, such a wonderful place where you can get all the facilities so i would request all of you to write down the definition of the banquets i'll give you some time the first paragraph alone is your definition done with the definition students shall i proceed hello am i audible students students am i audible yes sir yes you are okay thank you so done with the definition good uh thank you thank you students i will start the session okay so what are different occasions in which banquets has been organized so here another uh, slide normally the first point says about a formal meal the guest or the host normally goes to the hotels no they don't need to have any function such they can directly have a lunch they can have a dinner and they can have a breakfast even for a, just for a meal the gathering can happen so that, that's your called as a formal meal the second one is called as buffet receptions uh you have a huge gatherings on a social gathering those been termed as a wedding receptions and cocktail parties in such case you can go for a banquets and this is very important next one is called as a conference you have lot of meetings which has been scheduled uh, throughout the country for so many reasons it, the meetings are not only about uh, uh big decisions have been taken even the interviews normally takes place in a banquet hall even those things comes under the conferences public relation parties these include this is a major chunk where the hotel is getting a business the buff, the, the social gathering and the public relation parties is where the entire mice is all depends on this actually like a seminars dealers meeting exhibitions and product launch all these things generate huge business and uh, uh anyone who who is uh, who are in a hotel industry might be 
so passionate to visit a hotel in the entire country of india that is grand chola hotel this grand chola hotel has got a wonderful banquet halls and this hotel when it has been designed or constructed it has been constructed on based on generating huge revenues on the rooms room based revenues which has been generated but when the banquet hall has been opened in this hotel the scenario of generating of a revenue has totally changed from rooms revisions to mice uh, like marriages and uh, dinners and cocktail parties all those things you know uh, certain marriages i myself has witnessed i myself have been a gone as a guest there two three days they take the entire hotels and uh, the the dining like your breakfast lunch and dinner i myself have seen a bill for two days is 5 crores for the hotel so to generate a 5 crores revenue in the rooms it takes more than two days so such a huge revenues have been generated by marriages and dinners and lunches and uh, all these mice so this is all the normal events in which the hotels get banquet bookings apart from this there is a very very formal session most of you might be thinking why this has not been discussed uh, government functions whenever government functions takes place then in it happens in the hotels those are called as a formal banquets <laughs> now we will move on to our topic most inter- interesting topic that's called as the banqueting types uh students if you have any doubts now you can ask me the doubts then we can go into the topic students have any doubt okay vignesh has raised his hand yes vignesh uh i don't know how to unmute you it takes a lot of time because a lot of students are there vignesh can you uh, type a message sure sir sure sir i will type it yeah you have been unmuted please you can uh, ask me what's it up you have sir uh, you have told about the government captain or the government event how it has been happened sir uh see like uh, uh two different countries are having a memorandum of understanding probably to take uh, for an example uh, this pandemic time china has lost most of its business from the different part of the world like now india is getting businesses lot of businesses like for take an example a pharmaceutical business is the biggest business is going to be now the next uh, it is going to be, going to be about a pharmacy pharmacy so america wants to have a tie up with our country already india is supporting lot of medicines to america so if they want to have some tie up with our country then the health minister of america on some ministers from america and uh, indian ministers and the prime minister they will sit together and they will sign a memorandum of understanding when such visiting dignitaries are coming to our country then it has been termed as a government function then this function has been called as uh, formal banquets we are going to discuss about the formal banquets now in in detail so not only this memorandum of understanding even other government functions like take for example if there is a meeting which has to be scheduled for uh, the press the press meeting is happening then the government officials will come on and press even we can take that as into a press meeting also we can take it in the government event as well Uh, am i clear uh, i don't know what's the name i forgot is it clear the answer is clear okay in this trade hotel is there making for banquet hall is meaningful or not okay we will discuss at the end of the session i'll 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 ask you a lot of questions i mean i'll give you some time for you to discuss you can that time you can discuss other other topics now vignesh yes sir okay now here comes students the banqueting types i request all of you to write down uh, slightly i want you to modify this uh, banqueting type make this formal banquets in the first one informal into the second one and semi formal into the third heading
Yes, students. I'm sorry, the slide has changed. Okay. So, from the point of view of operation, the banquets has been categorized into formal banquets, <coughs> informal banquets, and semi-formal banquets. Now, we're going to discuss in detail about uh, formal banquets and informal banquets and semi-formal banquets. Uh, guys, you could have gone to the hotels. You could have seen a lot of formal banquets. How many of you have seen uh, formal banquets where things are very, very formal? Everything is formal. Those are called as formal banquets. How many of you have witnessed uh, formal banquets? And can you name out uh, the name of the event which you have participated? Have yes, Radha Krishnan. Kalyan Singh, I don't know how to unmute you, unmute you, I will haven't, I haven't learned. Uh, can you type it in the chat box or I'll ask Madam. Uh, yeah, boardroom meetings, I'm talking about uh, formal banquets, everything is very formal. How many of you witnessed that? Like a defense uh, uh, meetings norm, a lot of defense meetings will take place. I don't know, madam is not there, I believe. Uh, uh, I'm here, I'm here on this. Yes, but please. I can't see the raised hands on the and unmute. Yeah, it's very difficult. To, uh, uh, so now we can uh, answer, student. Anyone, uh, someone raise the hand? Who's that? Okay, students, so, uh, we will proceed with formal banquets. <coughs> How many of you? Okay. So we go ahead with the for formal banquets. How many of you heard about uh, the word called as protocol? Atita Nandakumar has raised a hand, but uh, very difficult to trace you all to unmute you. Okay, let us let us have the discussion later, Athira and other students whoever has raised their hands. Uh, yeah, airline meetings and other sector meetings. Specific, okay. Good. I got an answer here for protocol, a specific way of rules and regulations to be followed. Uh, Yukta Nayak has given an answer. That's correct. Protocols are nothing but standard rules and regulations to be followed by an individual in a formal gathering. I'd like to repeat it again to all of you. A set of standard rules and regulations to be followed in a formal place. So those are called as a protocol. You know, in, in hotels, when you got, a, got an exposure in working in a formal bank, I mean, in a banquet, you could have seen, usually banquets are the place, it's a very informal gatherings will take place. Everyone, Every guest will be informal and the staff also will be informal. That's what most of our banquets witness, most of the banquets events we have witnessed. Now, if you, if you talk about an informal, I'll come back to the formal banqueting. If you talk about an informal banquet, the guest has to go to the uh, buffet counter. He has to find out himself where is the salad counter, where is the soup counter. Where is the main course counter? Where is the desert counter? And he himself has to go and leave the clearance. In, in such case, the, the waiters will be there to just assist the guest for refilling the food or certain, assist, certain other help. They will not be given an individual attention to the guest in a banquet. That is what we have witnessed in so many banquet halls. So those have been termed as an informal banquets. In such an informal banquets, uh, Ravikant, uh, uh, difficult Ravikant to trace you. Uh, can you type it in the chat box?
Ravikant Badu Dev helping. Uh, Ravikant, my flow is getting uh, stopped. Shall shall we have the discussion after ten minutes? Exactly after ten minutes. Okay, Ravikant is not uh, responding, so we will proceed. Okay, so in an informal banquet, the guest and the staff will be very, 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 very casual. They have to help themselves. The waiter has they will not give an individual attention to the guest. In fact, the the guest will not be uh, given personal attention. So both the way, it is a very casual. Those have been things. If the things have been casual, then we term it as an informal banquet. Now I'll come to the formal banqueting. Now I would like to bring back the word called as uh, one second. Now I would like to give you uh, what is uh, this protocol is all about. In formal banqueting, students, I'll take more than ten minutes. I, just, I request all of you to be a little attentive now. This is a very, very, very important session. A formal banqueting. Even you go to the hotels, you go, you refer a lot of books. You won't get this answer at all in most of the most of the cases. Even you uh, call up your uh, channel manager and an FNB manager, you got an exposure. It's very difficult for you to find out answer for this formal banquets because I've been trying to get a complete note from the formal banquets. I till now I've didn't got an exposure of getting the notes. So I request all of you to pay attention for next ten minutes. So this formal banquets is all about <coughs> both the waiters and the guest has to be in a very 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 formal note. They should follow. The guest has to follow the formal note and the waiters also has to formal follow the formal note if they don't follow the formal note whoever is irrespective of the guest they will be out of the banquet hall now i'd like to quote a small example as just a few minutes back i've discussed a pharmaceutical company which is going to get signed with india the date of signing will be the 1st of uh, october the the project cost Worth uh, fifty thousand uh, crores. Fifty thousand crores is a pharmaceutical company which is going to get tie up. America is going to give an, uh, such a big business to India. So few dignitaries are going to come from America and few dignitaries are going to come from uh, India. So the invitees in India will be usually the the prime minister will be the host. He will be the host for the event, and the invitees in the India will be certain ministers. Take for example, 15 or 25 or 50 ministers will be invited. Now, usually, if the ministers have been invited <coughs> in a formal banquet, they have to adhere the standard protocols. So, the protocols we are going to discuss. Now, the meeting which has been scheduled is on first of. October. So we have sufficient days, more than 45 days time we have. Uh, Prime Minister, being Prime Minister as a host, he cannot do it all the work. So some of the IAS officer will be taking care of all the work pertaining to this MOU signing. So what he does is he approaches the banquet hall in the hotel. He finalizes the banquet hall. He finalizes the menu, and. Now the invitation will be prepared by the host, and the invitation will be sent to the American uh, guest who is going to come, and the Indian uh, the guest who are going to be invited. So when the invitation has been sent, along with the invitation, you will find a menu card attached. In the menu card, the entire choice will be given for all sort of communities. Okay, if I, I if I belong to Hindu, Muslim, Christian, Sikh, Jainism, for me the menu should be there. For me, some food should be there to eat. In such a way, the menu should be designed. It is not that if I if I don't take an onion and garlic, if the food is not there, all the food is with an onion and garlic, I will be cornered. I will not have any food. 
So that is not a formal banquet. So formal banquets has to be respected in all the ways. So in a formal banquets, the invitation has been given along with the invitation, your uh, uh, menu card will be given. And in the invitation, clearly it will be mentioned the date, the time, the table number for the guest. They cannot change the table number. The table numbers, the guest has to adhere with the table numbers what has been given. And our Indian costume, uh, Indian uh, costume for attending a meeting is usually a politician. I'm talking about a ministers. It will be a dhoti and a white shirt. But being, it's going to be a very, very formal gathering. The prime minister is requesting on a special occasion. It's not compulsory that it has to be changed. On a special occasion, the prime minister is printing in the invitation that everyone should be in a western formal. So that will be printed in a menu card. So when that has been printed in the menu card, <coughs> now the invitation has been sent to the guest, all the guests. So we are discussing about formal banquets, formal gap, formal banquets has got so many protocols to be followed. Usually these formal banquets can be also called as a head of state's event. What is that? Head of state's events. It can be uh, uh, the chief minister of a particular state also can host a formal banquet. It's not necessary. All formal banquets can, should be only hosted by prime minister. Any, any the head of uh, state or head of country can do it. Okay. Now the invitation has been sent. Now the day of event has come. The 1st of October has come. Now, all the guests have started coming. That The even time for a formal banquet is 10 o'clock. What time the prime minister has to come is he has to come by 9.45. And all the ministers has to adhere the time. They should, by 9 o'clock, at least an hour before, they should report. As soon as... The ministers have been come. It is not like another event. They will be directly taken to the stage or directly taken to the banquet hall. So here, I would like to request all of you to please make a note. It's called as ante room. A-N-T-E. Ante room. Ante room is a place where very, very uh, formally or informally we can say it is a pre-arrival room. Before entering the banquet hall, the pre-arrival room is called a sante room. I don't know how many of you during your training period have observed any banquet halls should be attached with an ante room. Ante room is where the guest will be seated if the ministers have been come. Okay, take for example, I am going to be the waiter of the day. For me, the, the health minister is going to be my, uh, uh, my guest. My table number is table number one. And I have been given a table number one and uh, health minister is going to be my guest. And I should, even the waiters will be given prior information about who's the guest who are going, going to handle. So if around eight guests are there, I'm going to handle eight guests. I should update all eight guests, what is their like and what is their dislike, what food they eat and what food they doesn't eat. Are they sugar patient or they, or they like uh, food with... Uh, all criteria, everything should be checked out by me. So when the guest comes to the <coughs> hotel, where where will the guest be seated? They will be seated in an ante room. Ante room is the place where the guest pre-arrangements have been done. So I will stand in an ante room and I know who all are guests going to come for me. So for a small example, for me, the guest is going to be the health minister for our country. So I go, I stand in an ante room, I greet the guest, sir, good morning. I'm Milangoman. I'm the waiter for the day for you. I'll be handling your uh, table for the day. So I'll have to invite a guest by introducing myself. And in an ante room, either a juice or a welcome drink will be offered. So after the welcome drink and the juices, anything will be offered. Once it has been offered, then I will... As a waiter, I will take the guest, I'll escort the guest, I'll take to table number one, I will make him sit. Similar way, all the invitees has to be invited in an ante room. If take, take for example, eight tables are there, eight into eight, 
64 guests are there all eight waiters has to be there in an ante room to receive the guest in a formal banquets you have to receive very formally now the guest has been taken to the ante room uh taken from the ante room and they have been taken to the uh banquet hall now all have been seated now on the head table on the head table there is a procedure for seat, seating who will be seated in the center of the head table the prime minister of india is seated who has to be seated right side to him who has to be seated left side to him who has to be seated second right who has to be seated second left everything should be there is a protocol so you have to follow the protocol and these protocols has to be uh, followed students now uh, it's time for me to just uh, stop the session here and we will have the session for types of banquets we will have it later uh, now before i would like request uh, mohanapriya madam to unmute all of you can anyone find out what is the, i mean not anyone i want all of you to make a small homework the homework is about head table seating arrangements in a formal banquets i would like to repeat it head table seating arrangement in a formal banquets so i want you to know the procedure this formal banquet doesn't happen only for the Uh, state uh, banquets even if you go to england and the uh, the king uh, when they're getting married even the the social gathering also the formal banquets can happen in a social gathering who has to be seated next to bride who has to be seated next to groom who has to be seated left and right all those procedures so that's an assignment for you you no need to sit down and uh, prepare it once i start my session next session i will discuss with you about this now madam mohanpriya can you unmute it so that i can interact with the student yes sir you can unmute all the students so i can interact with all the students hello sir hello sir hello sir thank you how can you see it all your videos are been muted i don't know whether you are attending the session or not no sir we are attending sir yes we are attending yes sir we are attending sir yes students now i'll give you 10 minutes time <laughs> to clarify it out we have to yes uh prachi is visible you have any doubt some students are raising the hand now you can ask a question do they students is it out no doubt sir Uh, but Vignesh was raising hands, and some more students were raising hand. Sir, I have got it. Sir, you have answered it. I don't know who is Vignesh. Can Vignesh raise your hand? I can not. I don't know which slide you are there. Okay, it's very difficult for me to handle this session. Uh, One-way communication. It is very difficult for me to handle this session. Uh, Yashovardhan, very active in listening the session. Yashovardhan, where are you? Listening. Hi. Hi. What is the topic we have discussed today? What? What topic? Banquets. Banquets. Very good. Good. Ah, yes, sir. Okay. So, what is the topic of today's lecture? students before i wind up to two assignments i will create a, a google classroom probably the assignments can be given later my i would like to know five 
miles of banquet halls are very big gathering banquet halls in in so that is your your topic number 1 assignment number 1 and your assignment number 2 is about the head table sitting arrangements in a formal banquets so these two topics we are going to discuss or uh, you are going to prepare it please make a note i have not seen anyone making a note out of it so head table sitting arrangement and your mice the various banquet halls the bed the maximum capacity banquet halls i want five banquet halls i'll i'll like to quote you the first maximum banquet hall is there in hyderabad it is a city center the capacity of the hall is 15000 people can gather at the same time so that is the biggest hall which is available the so similar way i want all of you to do a homework and submit it so thank you students i would like to end my session here thank you sir 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 thank you sir, thank you, sir. Yes, we will go in de detailed session in the next class thank you thank you all thank, thank you sir. bye bye sir bye thank you sir i will end the session okay thank you monopriya for madam for your cooperation or coordination yes sir i just